and uh, just have a look at uh, what transpired on this first session of the first day of the second test match. Comfortable enough, as I said, some loose deliveries, short and wide outside off, down the leg side. Abu Jai Chaudhary not really being able to generate a lot of pace. Mehdi Hassan Miraj got in, bowling too many short deliveries. And that's when able to pick and choose with lusty shots like that to the boundary. And uh, in an appeal which uh, originally was uh, given out, it was eventually reviewed and the uh, ball was uh, bouncing over the top of the stumps. Look at that. Power in the zone. I'm not going to miss out. That was the problem. Too many short, too many in the arc of the hitters and they were going to take advantage of that who come and collected where they till this happened up on the finger went for the review straight away but as uh, was shown on ball tracking there's nothing on the back on all edge eventually went on to hit the wickets and that was the first wicket down of campbell after that mosley has been sensible giving that support that was needed for Craig Brathwaite to take them into lunch in a very, very comfortable position. So the state of things at the end of the first session of this second Bangabandu Bandu test. West Indies 84 for one, we'll take a break for some lunch as the players are doing and we'll be back here with more live action in over just over half an hour from now. Uh, that session as they came in uh, brimming with confidence after lunch, this was a lazy shot, way outside the off stump. Uh, Mosley just uh, getting an inside edge. There were some uh, delightful shots from uh, both the batsmen on view. They were building up a little bit of a partnership. And then that wicket of Rathwaite, Shomo Sharkar tempting him outside and uh, forcing him to play a lazy shot away from his body. And a collective effort from Bonner, who was looked very, very strong down the ground today. This is Mayers, or that was a huge wicket. This is Abjad Chaudhary Rahi, once again caught well by Shomo Shorkar. Short which deliveries were punished. That's good to see. When the opportunities arose, even when they're tucking the balls around the corner, lovely little uh, deft touches, some powerful shots down the ground, and also in the latter part, a couple of boundaries. Uh, to finish off uh, this session of play. Strong finish by the two batters. They'll be looking to come back uh, and carry forward what they've achieved so far. 30 runs the partnership worth, and that's how it spanned out. Good over eight. We're going for a short break. Players having tea, so will we hope you join us for the post tea session. Uh, this session, uh, they scored 77. Some short pitch deliveries to start with and some wide from the spinner, which was put away to the boundary. Genuine edge. But they batted well and they were in control, especially uh, Bonner when he picked up his uh, 50. The back-to-back -back 50s are for him. Blackwood was the one who got dismissed, uh, caught in two mine and just pushed it back to the bowler, Taiju Islam, who does the rest. So Joshua De Silva utilizing the short balls from the Bangladeshi spinners. And since then, both the two batsmen played really well. Uh, have a look at the uh, day one session summary. Uh, first one uh, certainly belonging to West Indies, 84 for one. And then uh, Bangladesh taking the second session by picking up three wickets for 62. West Indies finishing off nicely in the third session by only losing one wicket and scoring 77 runs.